Okay, so Junior Roberts here coming to you with real juniorroberts.com and in this video we're going to be looking at a question involving vectors so let's go right into it so our question here says a heavy object of weight doubler is being held stationary by two ropes a and b the tension in each rope is t right and here we have a diagram actually depicting that right so we have our object this is our object and it has a weight of W and we can see here the arrow indicating that the weight is acting downward right and at the same time we have two ropes A and B that are actually holding this object stationary right and we are seeing that the both ropes are held at an angle of 45 degrees and there is a tension along the length of each rope and the tension is t as we see in the question here and we also see it displayed on the diagram so the first thing that this question wants us to do is to draw a vector diagram showing all three forces right so if we look at the diagram again we have the weight acting downward right and weight is a vector quantity because as you can remember vector quantities are those physical quantities that have both magnitude and direction so our weight is acting downward with a magnitude and it is acting in a direction of downward right and we have our two tension right which has a magnitude and they're acting in a particular direction right so we can use that information to actually draw a vector diagram for all three forces so if we somehow put in place let us say a reference line so let me get a ruler Right, I'm going to put in, let us say, a reference line. This is our reference line. Right. For example, we will have a weight acting downward. So let me get the ruler again. So we'll have our weight acting downward. So we'll have our weight acting downward like this. Right. So our weight acting downward. So this is our weight, and we're going to label it W as the weight acting downward. And also, we're going to have our two forces, which, is, which are the tension in the string that is holding up the object, acting upward at an angle of 45 degrees. Right? So this is, let me use a color like maybe this. So this is, right? And then we're also going to have another one acting at an angle of 45 degrees right so we're gonna have something looking like this all right so this will be our vector diagram right we will have t right and t right and again the angle that they're acting are 45 degrees and 45 degrees and they're going upward all right they're going upward like that upward so that's our vector diagram right which illustrates the action of the three forces right so now the next thing that the question wants us to do is to calculate the weight w of the object now as we can see from our vector diagrams right we have three vectors that are acting right so we can actually apply a method of vector addition to actually solve uh, for these two vectors okay so if we look closely we we'll see that these two vectors here will actually form a right angle right because we know that uh, we know that uh, because we know that the angles on a straight line add up to 180 and we have 45 here and 45 here so that's 90 so therefore the angle here would be 90 degrees right so the angle here would be 90 degrees so what we can do is we can actually find a resultant for these two vectors right so we can find a resultant for these two vectors so let's go ahead and actually do that okay so if we continue right we see here where the question says where to calculate the weight w 
of the object if the tension t in each rope is 500 newtons so again we notice that the two vectors right they actually form a, a right angle right so they form a right angle here so we can actually use the formula where we say that the resultant r resultant r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared right where x is the vector along the horizontal plane or the magnitude of the vector on the horizontal plane and y is the magnitude of the vector on the vertical plane right so we were told that the magnitude of each magnitude of the tension in each rope is 500 newtons so what we can do then is we can simply say that r will be equal to the square root the vector along the horizontal plane will be 500 newton that's the magnitude because both vectors both tension vectors will have the same magnitude so what we'll have is 500 squared plus 500 squared and all that is being square rooted uh, so what we're going to have is a square root of and we can call on our calculator for this so what we'll say is 500 squared plus 500 squared that gives us an answer of 500,000 right and we're taking the square root of that right so when we square root 500,000 we get 2,000 236 uh, newtons alright okay so what we would have just done is to determine the resultant of our two vectors our two tension vectors which were acting like this at an angle of 90 degrees right so we just found the magnitude now let us determine the direction in which uh, this resultant vector will be acting so since again the vectors are at 90 degrees we can use the formula that the direction we can call a theta is equal to tan inverse right of y divided by x right so what we'll have is tan inverse and again we know that the magnitude of the vector on the horizontal plane which is x and the magnitude of the vector on the ver vertical plane which is y is both 500 right 500 newton so we're going to have 500 newton divided by 500 newtons all right so what we get is tan inverse tan inverse of one right because when we divide 500 by 500 we're going to get one so we can simply take our calculator and take the inverse tan so we'll go shift tan shift tan of one right and we get 45 degrees so therefore what this means is that our resultant vector will act like this right so what we can do therefore then is to actually look back at our diagram so we have our two vectors and the resultant will be acting like this so what we're going to get is we're going to get two vectors in the opposite direction so we're going to get our resultant vector right we can call it tr which is our resultant te tension vector and we will have our weight acting this way right now the magnitude of the tension vector we know was 2236 newtons now the question wants us to determine the weight of the object right now let's look back at the question so it says here that our object of weight w is being held stationary right so by stationary what we mean is that the object is not moving so if our object is stationary right then the sum of the net forces on that object is equal to zero right so if our system is stationary it means then that the sum of the net forces will be equal right? so what we're saying is that the net force acting on the object right and the two forces that are acting on the object are the tension going upward and the weight acting downward right so what we can say is that f net which is the net force is equal to the tension right going upward 
minus the weight going in the opposite direction right because these two vectors are in are going in the opposite direction we have to take the difference because they will have opposing effect on each other right and we're saying that the net resultant force is zero newtons right because the object is stationary so we're going to say zero newtons is equal to the tension in the rope which was 2236 newtons so we'll have 2236 newtons minus doubler right so therefore what we can do to find doubler is to transpose and when we transpose we're going to get that doubler the weight will be equal to 2236 newtons right and we expect to get the same answer since the net force is zero so whatever tension is actually pulling up will be the same weight that is actually going down so therefore the object will be stationary so this was junior roberts with real juniorroberts.com if there was anything in this video that you wish to get further clarification on please post them below in comments and i'll do my best to clear up any misconceptions for you if you're studying physics and you find that you're struggling to understand certain topics then sign up for my live interactive csec physics classes full details will be posted below in the description like this video if it was helpful and thank you for watching